Right now in Worcester, police are looking for clues after two people were ambushed by gunfire. Now, we know the victims are either women or girls, but police are not yet revealing their ages. Tammy Mutasa joins us live in Worcester tonight. And Tammy, what do we know so far? Well, David, tonight the big question is who would cause so much violence in a quiet neighborhood in broad daylight? We're still waiting to hear from police about how those two victims are doing tonight, and investigators are trying to track down who could have done something like this. Been getting reports of uh, between 12 and 20 gunshots. The shocking level of violence is spelled out in bullet holes and over 40 evidence markers surrounding an SUV. That's where police say two females were ambushed and shot while sitting inside. A horrible, horrific act is just very unsettling. I've never had anything like this happen before. After 20 years of calling Englewood Avenue home, neighbors like Maureen are stunned. Very quiet, very family oriented. You know your neighbors, you know your friends. To have this happen is just. Unbelievable. Neighbors say they heard round after round after round going off. Then police got the 911 calls about the shooting just after 3 p.m. Englewood Ave, there's a Nissan Rogue at that location. It's got bullet holes all down the side of it. When investigators arrived, they found the two females suffering from serious gunshot wounds. Whoever was responsible for the shooting was gone. This kind of thing is unusual for the city in general. I mean, this is a very violent act. Uh, you're right, this is a quiet neighborhood, but it would be unusual anywhere. Investigators say the victims were rushed to the hospital by ambulance. To have anybody shot in the street is unusual and in itself. And it's really sad for the other families who are having to undergo this. Detectives are now trying to piece together what led up to the shooting, while neighbors hope whoever caused the concerning violence is caught soon. What other damage are they causing to somebody else's family? You know, it would be nice to have them caught quickly and brought to justice. And tonight, the city manager sent out a statement saying they are thinking about everyone who's been impacted by all this violence and that it is not acceptable. If you know anything about the shooting, you're asked to call police. Live in Worcester, Tammy Matassa, WBZ News. All right, Tammy, thank you.